So, this video is mostly for my friends Max Demersky and Matt Ryder that helped me salvage this equipment from a power plant that is now in danger of being demolished. This is a totalizing relay. If you come around to see the gear trains, this is an adding machine. It's a mechanical adding machine driven by electricity. So, we're going to plug this in, all right? Right now, we have a set of counting lamps, and this is connected to this big G3Y meter. When I advance the meter register, this meter, because it's got a Y on the end of it, has a counter, um, a three-wire, two-contact counter driven by cams. See, so there's counters right there. Everything in a power plant that wants to communicate with something else back 100 years ago had a minimum of two contacts to shove a solenoid one way or the other. So what's going on is every time these contacts break and make, it shoves the one solenoid and another solenoid to advance the um, one of these one of these inputs one click. This has eight inputs. You can connect up to eight meters to this thing. Right now we're just counting up with one. The differentials combine it, so this has an eight to one contact ratio. These are the, con the counting contacts. So if I advance this thing a whole bunch of times, kind of fast, it's evened out by a spring and a drum and an induction brake, you see, so I can combine other inputs in here. And these are our count lights. So those are the final tally. That This input would be going to another two contact device like this. Um, I'm not sure what that would be though. It would be some some kind of tally or you could input it into another totalizer or you could input it into really anything you wanted. I need to talk to more plant engineers about these instruments but the problem is they're so old most of the people who remember them are uh, are dead now. So that's the totalizer interface with G3Y. Uh, something I've been wanting to show people for a long time. And uh, that C4 type came out of that plant too. I married the I married it to that orphan case because someone had already swiped the case. Uh, there's a lot of other things in there. Um, got this reactive VAR meter from there, which is another complex instrument. There's just a lot to show you, but uh, that's the big one. So, Max, here's this. Uh, meter that we this other meter we lifted out of there with a protection lamp on it if you if you wired this right into the power source you jam the needle see it move this lamp is a protection resistor but it works and I also put electricity into the um, synchrotron motor that runs the chart and that works too so uh, except for the missing crossbar and pen carriage we're doing real good with that guy um, this whole thing was a resounding success, if I may say, and I want to test these guys next, but I need more equipment to do that, so, yeah.